Mm, I can good. actually hear you. I don't know, crunchy fries. Let me try. Oh, it's hot. Yeah, that one is hot. Get, get try one. the other one, <laughs> this one. Yeah. All right, so let's have a try. Mmm. With salt, mm. it tastes better. Crunchy. Mm hmm. Yummy. Hi guys, welcome to Pinai Mom's Vlogs where we share about the things we do and the places we see here in Amsterdam and beyond. And on this episode, my husband's actually gonna help me make triple cooked french fries for you guys. And here he is! Hi! So, we're making triple cooked fries. Uh -huh. This is actually a recipe that originally I learned about from Heston Blumenthal, the master of uh, molecular cooking himself. So shout out to Heston. What we're actually doing is we're taking some nice uh, fries, uh, well potatoes that are um, fry quality, which means they're slightly crumbly, not too much. Um, and we're cutting them into the rough wedges, basically. So right. uh, I did peel them already, as you can see. And uh, you don't want to make them too big, but you don't want to make them too small either. If you make them too big, then you know they will not um, cook properly throughout. But if you make them too small, then they will just all become just one big crunchy mess, and they're not going to be nice and fluffy. Right. So you want it a little bit that size because of the process that it has to go through. Yeah. If all you right. make them too small, because in the process of triple cooking, uh, we're actually first going to boil them, right. and of course, if you make them too small then uh, they'll just fall apart. Right, so. so the first is boiling and the second part is? The second part is we're going to actually already uh, deep fry them. Well, actually we're going to not so deep fry them. So we're gonna cook them uh, the second step um, at about 130 degrees uh, centigrade for about five minutes, and then um, which will just uh, make them slightly change color. Mm -hmm. But they won't like, actually, um, uh, you know, cook them all the way. Right. And uh, then we're gonna, and after that, basically, we can cook them properly, which is another five minutes or so until they're golden brown and crunchy. So that's the third step. The <laughs> that's the third step. Right. In between each step, we are going to cool the fries uh, in the fridge until they're properly all the way cold, and uh, so not look warm, just really cold. Uh, a crucial step as well because it'll allow the starches in the potato to set. Right, okay, and we'll do a lot more explanation later as we go through the process. In the meantime, let's continue on and cutting these potatoes. As you can see, there's a lot of starch that comes out of the potatoes. You can see it on the blade. Right, yes. And But that's normal, isn't it? That is normal, of course. Right? Potatoes have a lot of starch in them. But for uh, cooking, as you know, pota uh, starch, potato starch, is a binder. If we have too much starch in the potatoes, mm -hmm. it basically it'll make them stick together and just bunch up and you know become not so nice. Okay. So the first step that we're going to do is we're going to actually wash the potatoes. You want to see the water is slightly cloudy, mm -hmm. so we're going to put them in the water. And we're gonna at a low. Just gonna run it for about four or five minutes until basically the water runs clear. All right. So now it looks like it's getting clear, honey. The the water. Yeah, the water is getting clear. That means a lot of starch has been removed from the potatoes. Yeah. Okay. cook about 10-15 minutes. Depends a little bit on the potato. Sometimes a little longer, sometimes a little shorter. Do you need a lid? Uh, no, not necessarily. We're going to okay. simmer them. So we're going to slow boil them and um, we're going to have a look later. Uh, once they uh, start to crumble ever so slightly, that's basically when they're cooked. So basically just before they're falling apart, that's when we uh, start the cooking process. Okay, Hi, so the potatoes are pretty back. much done. Yes. 
So, what you can have a look for mm -hmm. in the potatoes, I can actually show you here what you have a regular potato. This one is not cooked yet. It's just very solid, right? Now, if you have a look at these potatoes now that they're cooked, some you can actually see very easily that it's been cooked because they, uh, they start to crumble and fall apart. This one is a bit firmer, so you don't really see it. But what you can see here, if you look closely, it sort of becomes glass-like. See, you can see through it almost. You can yes. see, you can see the edge right, through there. The edge of the, yeah. yeah, and you can also the see that a little on the yeah. edges of the uh, of the potato here as well. So that is when you know it's ready. Okay. okay. You also want to be careful um, not to overcook them because they'll just fall apart. So we're gonna put dry them a little bit. Um, normally you would put them on a drying rack. Unfortunately, I don't have one available right now. see it so it's like glass you can see through it you can see the, the ladle yeah. underneath all right so we're ready so we're ready they're still and a bit warm yeah, of course still very hot it's uh, boiling still or steaming mm -hmm. now what we're gonna do is to help remove the moisture from the potatoes mm -hmm. is we're actually going to stick them in the fridge because the fridge is a very dry uh, environment and cold. so cold and dry so it'll help dry. them cool down and it'll help them uh, we'll lose the heat because obviously the moisture is going to be drawn out by the fridge. Okay. A few moments later. We are back. And yes. let's get the fries out of the fridge. I have the deep fryer here at okay. 130 degrees. And we're gonna fry the fries for about five minutes. So this is basically when you get like the chips out of the out of the supermarket. Basically, they always say like they're pre-cooked. Right. This is what they do. Okay, so we're, guys, we're pre-cooking. We're pre-cooking. All right, so okay. five minutes is up. It's been about five minutes. As All you can right. see, the chips are just about starting to float a little bit. Oh, yes, that's right. Yeah. And if you yep, look yeah. at it, they're just starting to turn a little bit of okay, color. Okay, right, they're about to float. They're, they're can I see still that the same floating? color, but they're getting a little bit more yellow. Uh -huh. Right. And that's about the time that we uh, take them home. Right, okay. Liam wants to, Liam wants to see it, Papa. Go on. Floating. Ah, floating. Ooh, floating. Oh, floating. Oh, floating. Oh, okay. Okay. Alright, so the second batch has also been uh, half deep fried. Yep. Pre-fried and uh, put them on the, the back on the rack again, so they can also, you know, drip off a little bit. There's already some oil underneath there, yeah. some excess oil. And now we're gonna put these back in the fridge to uh, cool for another three minutes. Okay. The pre-cooked fries have been in the fr fridge now for well, 30-45 minutes. 30-45 minutes, so they're okay. nice and cold. So, the fryer has been preheated to 175, 180. All right, so this time it's at 175, 180 as compared to 130 earlier on. Yes? And now, let's get them in. All right. Okay, it looks like good, that. yeah. Golden brown. Yes. Now right. I'm going to put them in here. This is used with paper so it can absorb the excess. That beautifully golden brown. Here are 
Absolutely. All right, so. The fries, mm -hmm. yummy and delicious. Oh, yes. Golden brown. And let's see. Let's see if we can hear a crunch. <gasps> wow, and yeah, I heard that. Fluffy inside. <laughs> Very nice. All right, so let's try it. Yeah, let's try, try it. it. Mm, I can good. actually hear you. I know, not crunchy fries. Let me try. Oh, it's hot. Yeah, that one is hot. Try one. the other one, <laughs> this one. Yeah. All right, so let's have a try. <gasps> mm. We thought mm. the taste is better. Crunchy. Mm -hmm. Hi. Mm -hmm. Hi. <laughs> All right, so that's it for today. I hope you like our video. Uh, please give it a thumbs up if you like it, and you can uh, feel free to comment on the description box below. Thanks for helping me, honey, make this film. You're welcome. I'm going to make some more fries now. All right. <laughs> and until next time, see you guys. Yay. Bye. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching our video. If you'd like to see more episodes of Pinai Mom's Vlogs, please click on any of the links up ahead, or you can subscribe to our channel to see more episodes every week. Bye for now. Thanks again for watching and until next time.